All right, one of the symbols of fall is the scarecrow, Nicole. And there's one town in the state that is letting the creativity of families, businesses, and organizations really come out to design their own. So we have Marcy Jones live there this morning to check them out. So Marcy, where are you? Good morning, you guys. We're so excited. The fourth annual Scarecrows in the Meadows event. This is so much fun because it's all about community. I am here with my friend Kate. You'll probably remember her from last year. Kate, it's dry this year. I know. Are we so excited? Finally, some sunshine, yes. which is just what we need for I our know. fall celebration. And so that I love what this is all about. It's choosing your own adventure. You get to choose which scarecrows you want to interact with, which ones might freak you out a little bit. But I love that it's family friendly, community oriented. Tell us about, you know, how many people were involved and how this all came together. Sure. Yeah. So we have, I think we did the count today. We're up at 53 different Whoa, scarecrows. Wow. And these are all scarecrows that are created by members of our community. So families, nonprofits, businesses, you know, all of these organizations that yep. make Litchfield what it is and they are all represented here. Incredible. So, school school kids. I love it. We have so much variety too. It yeah. never ceases to amaze me. This is only my second time coming, but everybody I don't know where do they get these ideas from. Honestly, I don't know because Let's take a little walk. It feels through. like every year everyone is like more and more creative. Yep. And I mean, some of these are like true artistic masterpieces. I know like, they are. These are some of my favorites. The yes. found, the foraged, the this is what I have in my backyard, and I'm going to make something really beautiful yes. out of it. I mean, you can just see the like time and effort and vision people put into them. Wow. And then I just I love that they're each really a representative of the maker. Yes. So you the see the individuality is incredible. Exactly. And then you also have a little sign here that kind of tells you about yes. the person behind the scarecrow, mm -hmm. right? So you learn a little bit. Yeah, and honestly some of them the story is my favorite part. Yes. Right? <laughs> Cuz they get to say a little bit either like how it's inspired or some people like get creative and you know create whole backstories yes. for their scarecrows. Right. They use it as a platform of something that they care about, right? Absolutely. That's Very also cool. and that's also part of this. It's it's informing people who come about you know what we have in this town yes and just before we came on we were talking about how gorgeous Litchfield is this time of year you know it's it's impossible to deny the beauty of the leaves and it's getting you know a little chilly outside so it's cider weather it's very cozy look we have Wednesday Adams right here she looks thrilled yes from <laughs> and from Warner Theater one of um right down the road in Torrington I think they're having some Wednesday shows Ooh, coming up. So. Excellent. We'll for sure check those out. If people want to check this out, though, Kate, tell everybody how they can get the info. Yeah, absolutely. So um, this event runs from now through the end of the month, so right through Halloween. Um, we are open dawn to dusk every day. It is a free event, so it's mm -hmm. free for the scarecrow makers, free for the visitors. Um, and the best place to find information is on our website, LitchfieldHistoricalSociety.org, or follow us on social media. We're Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. We're gonna. All right. All right. Thanks, I Marcy. Have enough time to make a Nicole and Scott one. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> yes. Nice. With found things here. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be really creative. That, so mine would be scary. Yours would be adorable. <laughs> thank you. I don't know, but you're looking rather adorable well, today. Well, thank you. <laughs> Your new outfits. <laughs>